guys and welcome back to another episode of Mo Minecraft Modding and um, today I'm going to be showing you how to um, implement your own block into the game without editing, editing any other classes uh, of jar file so uh, for this I've created a little code that you can just go and download and I'll explain what it all does so you need to go and copy the um, mod underscore and then whatever your mods wants it to be called so I'm just going to paste it in. Mine is called MCP Example, and it extends base mod, which is what has all the constructors and stuff like that. And then you've got um, integer, or just something else, block, and then you've got the properties of the block. Then you've also got your picture. Then you've also got to register the block. You've got to add a name to of the block. You've got to add a recipe, so how to make it. And then you've got the version of your mod. And, and there's also another jar file which we'll get to in a minute. So to start with, um, this public string get version, um, this version. So say if it crashed or anything, this is what would come up. So I'm just going to uh, call it MCP example version one. So if it ever crashes, that will see what version it is. And the next thing is what we need to do is so you've got your block up here. This is the class file where it takes uh, the other variables from. So you need to go and copy this in as well. So you need to copy, and then you need to create another just class file. So go to client, src, and then there's minecraft net dot minecraft dot src. Double open it, then right click new class. And then you'll want to name it something like block. Let's just name it block. What should we name it? Let's just name it block x ample. So if you finish that, and then just paste it in, and you'll need to change this to block x ample as well. <coughs> Pardon me. And you also need to change this public as well. And you need to change this to the name of your mod, so MCP example. And then you'll need to, I would put example block. But as we haven't created the block yet, it will not recognize it, so you'll get an error. And then this quantity dropped, um, that means runs one, so if you break it, you'll drop example block of one. So I'm just going to change it to ten for example for this purpose. And uh, now we need to actually implement the block. So here where it says new, we need to actually put block example. So what if you name this class file here to so block example, and it should recognize that. And you also need to um, name your block. So I'm going to put that as example block. And now it should recognize it here, as you see, it just went blue as it now recognizes it. And then you need to paste the name here, oops, uh, example block. And this example block I'm pasting in can be any name, it can, so you'll be like that. And example block, and that is it except we just want it to be named something so let's just call it something random just to show it okay and now uh, just up here again we've got the jar file and then this um, integer here uh, 160 is the ID of the block and you can't you can have it between 0 and 255 but I think 130 are already taken up by blocks already in the game so I'm just going to give it 200 for this example and zero is just the sprite, but as we've uh, mod loader overrided this here, it will get a different sprite. But for now, I'm going to delete this. So I don't actually have one ready. And what should we make it look like? We should make it look like. Ooh, let's make it look like wood. And four, I just knew that, so I'll. I'll explain that in a later video. And then here I'm just going to put block example. This isn't actually used, so you just really put anything. 
and I spell it sample wrong. Silly me. And now the hardness is like, literally how long it takes for you to mine the block. The resistance is how much it's against TNT, and the light value uh, can be like set to one. And if you do it too high, it will crash the game. So now, if you just go ahead and save, anything by hitting this up here, all the errors should be gone, and you can just go ahead and run. So just wait for it to run. It should start doing it in a sec. There we are. So it'll start saying, and it'll launch Minecraft. And just wait for it to load. And here, and I'll go ahead and create a simple player world. But I'll just leave it on survival for a moment. So it'll generate the world as normal. Saving chunks. And I'm just going to change all my settings to uh, There we are. Right. So, just if you, because I've added a crafting recipe and that's particularly loud, turn that down. So, because I've added the crafting recipe that just involves dirt, if you just go ahead, there we are. You get <laughs> a random block with a random name, you get a few of them, and they give out a light value of 1. And they're, they're mm, quite easy to destroy three. Oh, and you get a ton, because that's what I set it to. You get 10 back each time. So that's pretty neat. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to um, continue watching the series, then go ahead, and that would be great. And just like this video, and that will really help me out. And boost me. Yay! So, one, now we've done that, um, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to add the crafting recipe, and I'm also going to be showing you how to add um, smelting. So I hope you enjoy this guys and thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye.